Hello and welcome guys. So in last video we have done data pre-processing in which we have done training image pre-processing and validation image pre-processing. Now we are ready for model building. Okay. So if you guys are new to this video then please watch this playlist from beginning. So first of all let's run this. So our drive is mounted and here is our data. Okay and drive we have these things run this entry so we have run it successfully okay now let's start with building model okay so let's define one variable cnn equal to from tensorflow i'm going to use keras and in Keras, I'm going to use models. Model, I'm going to use sequential model. Okay. Let's define one CNN model, which is to define CNN, use TensorFlow and TensorFlow go to Keras. In Keras, go to models and in models, go to sequential. Okay. So we have successfully created our CNN model. Okay. Now we are ready to build different layers. Convolution neural network consists of different layer. Convolution neural network have convolution layer, pooling and fully connected layer. So in convolution layer, there is certain hyperparameter filters which scan input image and do some computation and store the important feature in a separate matrix. This process helps to decrease the size of image and also focus on important feature of that image. Okay. After that, there is another process that is pooling. In pooling, there is uh, two type of pooling, max pooling and average pooling. In max pooling, we scan whatever we get from here and try to take a maximum value from this two cross two. So here it's using two cross two matrix. So in two cross two, it's taking maximum value among this two cross two matrix and storing in separate matrix. So these things are to be done in max pooling. And in average pooling, it take average value of these two cross two matrix and store in separate matrix. And in fully connected layer, what he's doing is converting this uh, two cross two matrix in a vertical manner. Okay, it's flattening the input. So here, if you read this, the fully connected operates on a flattened input where each input is connected to all neurons because we can't connect this two cross two matrix to each neuron. So we have to convert this in a like this in a we have to flatten this input. That's why it is used at the last. It is a last step in convolution neural network because after this step we are going to pass it to the neural network. So this is a brief introduction of convolution neural network which we are going to implement here. OK, so we have created our model CNN. Now we have to create a convolution layer okay let's create a text entry here and comment with building convolution layer okay just add a convolution layer so use cnn dot add and in this we have to pass from tensorflow we have to take keras and in Keras, we are interested in layers and in layers, we, we want to create a convolution layer. So use con 2D. Okay. So in CNN.add, use tensorflow.keras and Keras go to layers and layers go to con 2D class. Okay. And as we know that in convolution layer, we have filters. Okay. We have filters. This is, this is a filters. Okay. So here we have to pass first parameter as filters okay filters and in filters take 64 okay these values i am taking because uh, i have tuned the model and i am getting a good result on this filter value that's why i am taking on this if you want to modify the value then you can modify and tune your model again and if you are getting more good result as compared to me then you can post in comment box okay we have uh, defined the filters as 64 and now 
let's define kernel size and kernel size put here 3 it's a standard kernel size which is 3 because uh, it's a very popular kernel size you can take 5 also but kernel size 3 is working in almost every neural network activation now we have to define activation function so what is activation function activation function is something which is happening here in this uh, matrix and some computation is happening and storing in a separate matrix so this is happening because of this activation function so we have a lot of activation function here we have ReLU activation function leaky ReLU activation function and ReLU activation function so i am going to use here ReLU activation function okay so let's pass here ReLU okay and our input shape is what is the input shape so input shape we have to take here the same which we have uh, created here so here our image size is 64 cross 64 so here we have to pass that i am giving you input of 64 cross 64 and this is a rgb format so it's 3 okay so this is our input shape okay so we have created our convolution layer now after convolution layer so we have successfully created our convolution layer now we have to create a pooling layer okay because after convolution layer we have pooling layer okay so let's create here same you have to do cnn.add and in this use tensorflow.keras and in keras go to layers and in layer we have created here convolution layer now we are interested in pooling layer and in pooling we are interested in max pool so use here max pool 2d okay this one and here i am going to define pool size pool size is 2 okay and strides strides is also 2 okay pool size is 2 and strides is also 2 so here this one is this one is pool size which is 2 cross 2 this matrix is 2 cross 2 this one it's scanning 2 cross 2 matrix and it's here it is moving to 2 step so stride value is 2 here okay so i am defining pool size as 2 and stride 2 okay i am saying that scan 2 cross 2 matrix 2 cross 2 part of the input whatever you are getting from here convolution layer scan 2 cross 2 part okay and extract the maximum value from this 2 cross 2 part and store in a separate matrix so this is the meaning of this pool size and strides okay so we have created our first convolution layer and first max pool layer okay so let's run this so it's completed so create here one more layer same thing you have to do but here don't pass this one because we have already passed one time okay i am going to resize these things one more time i am repeating this process to focus on important feature i am further reducing the size of uh, whatever i am getting from here max pool i am again defining convolution layer and again using these things max pool to decrease the size more okay that's why i am doing it two times here if you see whatever we are doing we are reducing the size of this matrix here and after performing after performing convolution we are decreasing the size and after convolution we are taking this matrix here and we are further reducing the size so that's why i am doing it two times so that i can get only i am only focusing on important feature that's why i am reducing as much size as possible but not more than two times because uh, we lose some data that's why I'm repeating it only two times, okay? So it's completed. Now you have to add one more parameter, cnn.add, use, and use tf.keras. And in keras, go to layers. And in layers, add dropouts. And in dropout use 0.5 this dropout is helpful 
to avoid overfitting okay that's why we are using here dropouts why we are using this you can write here to avoid overfitting this parameter is used to avoid overfitting okay that's why i am using this one okay now we have successfully created our convolution layer pooling layer we are ready to pass it to neural network so before passing to neural network we have to execute flattening process okay so add here cnn.add and tf.keras same thing you have to do and in keras go to layers and in layers go to flatten this time okay so go here so after executing this you have successfully flattened your matrix 2 cross 2 matrix now we are ready to building our neural network okay so make a neural network so add cnn.add use tf.keras in keras go to layers in layers now go to dense to make a neuron okay to make a neuron like this here if you go so these are the neurons okay so we have to make these neurons so that's why we are using here dense and in dense pass units is equal to here i'm passing 128 this uh, another tuning parameter which you can modify according to your uh, you can run and check on which uh, number of neurons you are getting good result so i'm getting good result at 128 that's why i'm using 128 so here units is equal to 128 means we have 128 neurons okay that's why i have used here that's why i have used here 128 okay so units is equal to 128 and I am passing here activation. Activation is equal to same. I am using ReLU activation function. Okay. This is the same uh, ReLU activation function I am using. So let's run this. What is this? Uh, here we need some activation function so that it does for some computation inside this neuron. That's why I am using here activation function as a ReLU that all the 128 neurons separately do some computation on the basis of ReLU activation function. That's why I'm using this ReLU activation function. Okay. Now our neural network has created. Oh, let's create a output layer because here we, we need a output layer. After creating our hidden layer, we need our output layer. So for output layer, same you have to use tf.keras.layers in layers go to dense in dense go to units pass units units is equal to now we have to focus here what we 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 can't give any random value because here we have 36 classes okay so we need a 36 output also neural network will uh, do computation here and it will give output for this 36 classes and we have to collect the output of all the 36 classes that's why i'm using this 36 here okay so right here 36 and here give activation function as softmax for categorical input data use activation function as softmax at output layer this is our output layer you can comment here this is our output layer so here I am using the 36 because we have 36 classes here that's why I am using 36 classes that's why I am using here units is equal to 36 run this so we have successfully created our output layer. Now we are ready for compiling and training phase. Okay. So in next video, we will execute compiling and training phase. So thank you guys. Thanks a lot for watching this video.